future at all? No, it's not something uh, that we've really kind of dug down into yet. Haven't really made a decision, and you know we'll we'll figure something out afterwards. But right now, I'll focus on the football game. What's this process been like with so many guys you're used to having on the football field not here with you in New Orleans? I think it says a lot about the guys who are here who are ready to step up, you know, to the challenge and ready to go in and compete. I think it's an awesome opportunity for those guys to show what they've been working on all season. You know, these guys, you know, just because they haven't been playing as much doesn't mean they, they didn't work as hard, you know, so they're here. Uh, they've been putting in work. Uh, they deserve it, and they deserve this opportunity. You look on the offensive line. So what it can be like with those big guys up front taking the mm -hmm. talents in the NFL. Yeah, uh, I think, you know, for, for those guys, you know, Andrew and Isaiah, um, you know, wish them nothing but the best. You know, that's an awesome opportunity for them, and uh, we wish them uh, luck and, you know, and uh, hope – Everything happens, you know, their way, uh, you know, but for the guys who are here, you know, Cade and uh, Jamari, I think they're ready. Uh, they've played a lot of football. It's not something they haven't been in. You know, they've, they've been in, they've played in uh, big time situations, so they're ready. Uh, you know, Cade's going to play a little bit different position. I think he's ready, and Jamari, he's ready for his opportunity as well. Do you take, do you take pride any in the SEC going out and dominating like they did yesterday, or do you dislike LSU enough not to? Uh, I think you know it, it says a lot about our conference and, and how strong our conference is, and uh, just the, the competition level. You know, we we pride ourselves, you know, week in and week out, that this is a really strong, really tough conference, and I, I think it just says a lot about our conference. Jake, who are some of the guys in the receiving core? You've had, I guess, eleven bowl practices. Just how much time and and how comfortable have you gotten with, with what you've got now? I guess Kirby said it's been a kind of a merry-go-round in receiving. Yeah, I think this is uh, ha has this has allowed a lot of guys to get a lot of reps. Um, you know, and uh, some guys who ha have really progressed, you know, during this time. You know, I think George just continues to, to get better and better, uh, and he keeps showing how he's just going to be a big-time football player, you know, and uh, we're excited for him and ready to hope he has a really big breakout game. Can you game. put into perspective just the, the George that walks through the door versus the George that's now getting ready to, to play in the Sugar Bowl? How far this guy's come this season? Uh, he's come a long way. You know, he's a uh, – He's a really good football player, you know, and uh, with like a, a little kid mindset, you know, sometimes, you know, he, he keeps you young. He really does. Uh, he's, a, he's a great, uh, great guy to have, uh, you know, on the team, uh, in the locker room and uh, on the field with you. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a pleasure to go play with him. Uh, he, he makes it fun. And, and that's what you like. You want guys on your team who love football and he loves football. Jake, have you got your NFL grade back yet? Um, you know, that's something that uh, me and my parents have kind of looked about. Um, and uh, we'll kind of talk about after the game. That's a yes, no, or maybe. Uh, I mean, yes, we've gotten it back, but we're going to talk, really talk about it. Jake, what, what, what do you see from that Baylor defensive line? They have a lot of sacks this year. Yeah, they, they play relentless. Uh, those guys, they just keep coming. Uh, they're really good football players, but uh, they really play relentless. Uh, relentless. Uh, they play for four quarters, and they just feel like they, they always keep coming. They're really high motors, and uh, they're just going to play tough. Also, their defense has forced a lot of turnovers. Uh, yeah, how key will that be? Kind of yeah, protecting the ball is, is always is always a, a really huge um, kind of goal for us. You know, for us, how can we protect the football? You know, and uh, score points. You know, that's what that's what the offense wants to do. We want to protect the ball, and score points. But uh, for us, it's a really big part of it. You know, not turning the ball over, and I, I think it's in, uh, been a kind of a huge key to our success. And you know, if, if we can take care of the ball, I think we'll be not, not to give away the game plan, Jake, but after watching Trevor and Joe and Justin. Any motivation to pull it down a little more? We saw you do that a little bit more the second half of the season, but a lot of quarterback run in the postseason yeah. so far. Absolutely. You know, that's kind of part of where the game's going, you know, and uh, with my feet, you know, I'm ready to go. Uh, let's go play football and be a football player. Jake, I just walked up to you probably already answered. Where are you with the NFL decision? Have you got your feedback from the uh, committee? Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's something uh, that we really had thought about. Me and my family are going to talk about uh, after this football game and uh, kind of go from there. Right now, we're focused on this football. Game. Did you get a grade already? Yeah, we got a grade, but we're going to really talk about and discuss it after. Did, did your mentality change with a different? I mean, the whole left tackle blind side thing. I mean, just with Cade versus an Andrew. I mean, how does it change or affect you back in your pocket or your timing or your awareness? Uh, for us, it's, it's about going to play football. You know, if I'm you know focused on you know who's there, who's not there. Uh, then I can't do my job. You know, I, I got to trust the guys, you know, who are in there um, to do their job, you know. And Cade, he's perfectly ready to do that job. You know, he can handle it. Uh, we're excited for him. And everybody in that locker room is ready for him to go play well, so, you know, Cole, especially me. Coley said Jake's still Jake. He's, he hasn't changed. But has this season taken a toll on him mentally? It's a, it's a football season, you know. Uh, football seasons are always tough. Uh, there's a lot of highs and lows in football season, but uh, you love football, you love this team, uh, love this university, and I, I couldn't ask for any better spot.
Is it always hard to say the right things, Jake? I mean, you, you, you maintain your poise on the field, but with us as well, we've, we've thrown a lot of difficult. How do you maintain that composure? I mean, there's a lot of times there's probably been explanations you'd like to share, but you don't. Uh, for me, uh, I kind of have a, a kind of strength in knowing that, you know, Christ, he's not going to put me in any position that I can't handle. Um, so for me, it's uh, I, I know I'm prepared. I'm well armored for anything I walk into, and you know this uh, isn't any different, you know. And I, I'm ready to go uh, compete, you know, with this. You know, how can I be better uh, during an interview than I was uh, last week? You know, it's it, it's amazing how it, you know, it really is. But um, I, I know I'm, I'm he's not going to put me in anything I can't handle, and uh, I, I'm always going to be ready for it. Do you feel extra motivation?